today I want to talk to you about the empirical rule. So the empirical rule is uh, similar to Chebyshev's inequality in that it's going to tell us how likely it is for a number to be a certain number of standard deviations away from the mean. But it improves on those limits dramatically okay, with the caveat that the population that you're looking at must be normally distributed. Okay, and the normal distribution is the prototypical symmetric distribution. So these limits given by the empirical rule only apply if the population is symmetric. So what the empirical rule says is roughly 68% of all values are going to be within one standard deviation of the mean. 95% will be within two standard deviations of the mean. And... 99.7% will be within three standard deviations of the mean. So the 68, 95, 99.7% are fixed, okay, as are the one, two, and three standard deviations. So there's no formula, no equation like there was with Chebyshev's. And if you recall from Chebyshev's, when we talked about two standard deviations, Chebyshev says at least 75% are within two standard deviations in any population, but if the population is symmetric, now the empirical rule tells us that we can do a lot better than that 75%. We know that it's approximately 95% that will be within those two standard deviations of the mean. So if we start at the mean mu and we go forward and backward, one sigma, so add sigma, subtract sigma from the mean, the empirical rule says 68% of the values will fall within that one standard deviation of the mean. So we got two standard deviations, so a distance of two sigma from u in each direction. Right. As long as we have this nice symmetric curve, remember symmetric has a peak in the middle, falls off evenly on both sides. Then we're going to have 95% of the values fall in that range. And 99.7% of the values will fall within three standard deviations when we have a symmetric normal distribution. So if it's symmetric but not quite normal, the numbers will be slightly off, but it's still a really good uh, general rule of thumb. Okay, so 68, 95, and 99.7%, one, two, and three standard deviations, not gonna change. So let's look at an example. I'm gonna let mu be 140 and sigma be 12. So the mean is 140, sigma is 12. Okay, so and the empirical rule is based on one, two, and three standard deviations of the mean. So sigma is 12. So one sigma is going to be 12. Two sigma is 24. Three sigmas are 36. If we go 12 in each direction, so 140 minus 12 and 140 plus 12, we're now at 152 and 128. The empirical rule says that we're going to have 68% of the values fall within one standard deviation of the mean. If we expand those limits out to two standard deviations, so I'll go 12 more in each direction or 24 total from the mean left and right, we're going to have 95% of the values that fall in that range. And three standard deviations would be 36 in each direction or another 12 above and below where we're at right now. So if we go out there, 36 above and below the 140, we're going to be at 104 and 176. And the empirical rule says, as long as you have this symmetric distribution, 99.7, that's 997 out of 1,000 values, will be within that three standard deviation limit. And nothing more to the empirical rule. It just flat out says, here's how much should be within one, two, and three standard deviations. Now, if we take that 68, 95, and 99.7%, and we subtract them from 100%, we get the percentage that would be outside one, two, and three standard deviations, respectively. Now let's look at our second example. In this example, I'm gonna let the mean be 380 and the standard deviation be 30. So one standard deviation would be 30, two standard deviations would be 60, and three standard deviations would be 90. And again, one, two, and three standard deviations are the only landmarks the empirical rule uses. So 30 away in each side from 380. 68% of the values will fall between 350 and 410. Two standard 
standard deviations means I gotta go 60 in each direction. And three standard deviations go 90 in each direction and I pick up 99.7% of all the values. Now, again, this is an improvement on the empirical rule in the sense that if we are symmetric, we know a much higher percentage of the values are very close to the mean. And so we have a higher percent that we can be confident that are within one, two, and three standard deviations than Chebyshev's. Chebyshev's gives us an absolute minimum. The empirical rule says we're gonna exceed that minimum by quite a bit if the population is normally distributed.